Hello, it's me, the ukulele teacher, here with a very quick lesson to teach you how to read tabs for the ukulele. Now, as a musician, tabs can be both good and bad. On the plus side, you don't need to be able to read or understand music whatsoever to be able to play them. On the downside, tab doesn't explain rhythm at all, so unless you know the song you're trying to play, tab will only ever give you half the story. But if you're trying to play a tune that you're familiar with, ukulele tabs can be a very quick and easy way to help you learn. So, grab your uke. Make sure it's in tune. And let's learn how to read ukulele tablature. So what exactly is tab? Well, if you look at the four lines, they represent each of the strings on your ukulele. So the fourth line down represents the fourth string of the ukulele. The third line down represents the third string. The second line down represents the second string. And the first line of tab, or the top line, represents the first string, or the top string. So the four lines of tab represent the four strings. That's all well and good, but what do the numbers mean? Well, the numbers represent what fret you have to push down on which string. So if, for example, there was a two on the bottom line of tab, you would push down the second fret of the bottom string of your ukulele, like this. If there was a zero on the top line of tab, you would play the top string of the ukulele open. That means not pushing down on any of the frets. Like I said, unfortunately with tab, it doesn't give you the rhythm. But if you know the song that you're trying to learn, then it can be very helpful indeed. So to learn tab, I've picked a song that pretty much everyone in the world will know. Hopefully, even without the rhythm being written down. Let's take a look at the first four notes. All four notes are on the third line down, which means you play them on the third string of the ukulele. The zeros mean you play the open string, and the two means you press down on the second fret. I should think, even without the rhythm, you'll probably be able to guess what it is that we're playing. So the first four notes go like like this. Open, open, two, open. Like this. Have you already guessed what the tune is yet? Well, let's move on to the next two notes. They're on the second line down, which means you play them on the second string of the ukulele. The one means you play the first fret, and the zero, again, means you play the open string. Like this. So let's put them all together with the first four notes. And then we look at the next four notes, and they're exactly the same as the first four notes. Then the next set of notes are back on the second string, three and one. So you play the third fret and the first fret, like this. Then we're back to that open third string. Then we go all the way up to the first line, the top line, which is the same as playing the first string. And that's a third fret followed by an open string. Then back to the second string for one and open and then back to the third string for a two. So let's play that whole section. And then the final notes are back to the first string for one, one open, and then one on the second string. One final thing you might need to know is that if there are two or more notes on top of each other, you play them at the same time. So let's look at those last two notes. Now we've got to play the third fret on the second string, and the open third string, like this. And then the final note, we play the first fret on the second string, and the open third string and first string at the same time, like this. So now the last line goes like this. So let's try and play the whole song using the tab. Have you guessed it? Yes, it's the Birthday Wishes song. And that's a very quick explanation of how to read tab for the ukulele. And it's exactly the same for guitar. There's just two extra lines of tab to represent the two extra strings on the guitar. I've been the ukulele teacher. If you have any requests for future lessons, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, I love you all and I wish you the best.